Hello, my name is Birsan Gökçek. I am a technical support engineer at Informatica in global customer support. Today, I will demo a video where I'll show how to register the plugin for Power Exchange for Salesforce. In order to register Power Exchange, the plugin for Power Exchange for Salesforce, it is important that uh, the customer, the user uses the utility, command line utility, register plugin command. In most of the cases, the plugin is registered via administrator console. For Salesforce, if the user tries to register the plugin from administrator console, it will look like it's registered successfully, but when the Salesforce sessions are running, the session will fail uh, with the error saying plugin is not registered. So it is a little misleading there, uh, but the native uh, plugin registration for Salesforce um, should not be done from administrator console. It should only be done using the command line utility um, PM rep register plugin command. We will go through the step by step instructions on how to register the plugin using the register plugin command. First, you need to make sure repository service is running in exclusive mode. For this, we go to administrator console, click on repository service. Change the operating mode from normal to exclusive. This will restart the repository service. Now the repository service is running in exclusive mode. Next, we go to the command prompt in the Power Center installation directory to the server bin directory. We will be running the PM rep command from the server bin directory. We will be using this installation directory and let's go ahead and make a connection we have a 951 hotfix to installation in this power center installation directory we go ahead and expand this Let's go to the first, let's set the environment and let's go to the server bin directory. This is the server bin directory and here next we will be running pm rep command to connect to the repository service. The command will be pm rep connect uh, minus the domain name minus our repository name and username and password for the repository service.
if you just type the connect and click return you can see all the options repository name in this case is r951 domain name username and it is important that you are running the register plugin command as the administrator user Um, let's just make sure we have everything correct here. Let's try this one more time. Let me just copy and paste just to avoid any typos. Um, actually, connection was established successfully in the in both cases. Um, only that uh, there is a warning saying that your repository is running in exclusive mode, and that is what we want. The next step is registering the plugin using the pmrep register plugin command, and the only arguments here are minus i is for the the plugin file um, the xml file that comes with power center this is uh, this file will already exist in this given directory and then the arguments minus e and minus n and the native directory is in the server directory informatica home directory server uh, slash native Let's go ahead and run the register plugin command just to see the arguments. And let's go ahead and give the arguments. We are already in server directory. So in order to go to the native, we just specify the native. And the file, XML file name is pmsfdc.xml. We give the minus E argument. If the plugin already exists, go ahead and update the plugin. And also the minus N argument because this is a native plugin. Let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so the plugin is registered and these are all the information related to the plugin. Now we can, uh, before we reverse the repository service operating mode to normal, what you can do is you can run this query just to double check that the plugin is actually registered with the repository. This query will go ahead and uh, give the output of the uh, table where the plugin is actually uh, is uploaded, updated in the table. And um, let's go ahead and run this command. In order to exit the PM rep, type exit. Next, go ahead and type and make a connection to your repository database. In this case, it is Oracle. I will go ahead and get the repository database information from the administrator console. Now that we are connected, 
we can go ahead and run the command and I will go ahead and copy that command from this file because I'm not able to copy it from the PowerPoint and this is kind of long to type okay so I can see in the repository database the plugin has been created with, the, with this ID here this also confirms that the plugin has been registered successfully and next we go to the administrator console and change the operating mode back to normal In this video, we have successfully registered Power Exchange for Salesforce native plugin using the command line utility PMREP registered plugin. We would love to hear from you. Please go ahead and send your comments, either email them to us or update us at twitter.com slash infosport. And thank you.